welcome viewers i am venkatesan today my lecture is about geometric distribution the question is find the moment generating function of a geometrically distributed random variable and hence find the mean and variance first let me define probability mass function of geometric distribution the probability mass function of geometric distribution is p of capital x is equal to small x is q power x minus 1 into p where x varies from 1 2 3 etc up to infinity remember in poisson distribution we considered x varies from 0 1 2 3 etc up to infinity but in geometric here x value varies from 1 2 3 etc up to infinity we cannot consider x is equal to 0 here next we know that the formula for moment generating function is mx of t equal to expectation of e power tx that is summation x is equal to 1 to infinity this is very important because you are not supposed to use x is equal to 0 to infinity here 1 to infinity e power tx into p of x where p of x is q power x minus 1 into p here next if i find any constant term that we can take it common so this implies summation x is equal to 1 to infinity e power tx into the next term will be rewritten as q power x divided by q into p i am rewriting this term like this here this p by q will be constant you can take it common like this remaining terms are summation x is equal to 1 to infinity q e power t whole power x now you can expand this x is equal to 1 2 3 etc when you apply you will get q e power t plus q e power t whole square plus q e power t whole cube plus etc here i find that q e power t is common you can take it outside here this q get cancelled with the denominator remaining 1 plus q e power t plus q e power t whole square plus etc it is in the form of 1 plus x plus x square plus etc that that is replaced with 1 minus x whole inverse where x is nothing but q e power t here so your answer will be p e power t divided by 1 minus q e power t which is your required moment generating function next to determine mean and variance as we know how to determine mean and variance from moment generating function while differentiating it once and applying t equal to 0 you will get mean so your mean values e of x is equal to mx dash of t at t equal to 0 that is d by dt of mx of t which is p e power t divided by 1 minus q e power t we are applying quotient rule here d by dt of u divided by v is equal to v du minus u dv divided by v square so this is your v value of course here i consider the numerator as u and the denominator as v so this is v du differentiation of p power t is p power t which is du minus u u is p power t into dv which means differentiation of denominator differentiation of 1 is 0 differentiation of minus q e power t is minus q e power t divided by v square when you apply t equal to 0 the second term get cancelled with the third one after that i think before applying t equal to 0 itself it has get cancelled and after this when you apply t equal to 0 all e power t values will be 1 because e power 0 is equal to 1 we are replacing t value with 0 here so this will be rewritten as p divided by 1 minus q whole square what is 1 minus q 1 minus q is equal to p how it will be because we know that p plus q is equal to 1 from p plus q is equal to 1 i derived 1 minus q is equal to p hence the mean value is 1 divided by p similarly we are going to determine the second moment that is e of x square mx double dash of t at t equal to 0 we are differentiating it twice when you differentiate first time again we are going to apply quotient rule as we did in mean 
So here also again u divided by v, the formula will be v du minus u dv divided by v square. After applying t equal to 0, actually here first time differentiation that we have here, that I am substituting directly because just now I found that. So I am doing second time differentiation directly in the second step. Okay, no need to do the differentiation again and again uh, now. Next step. When you apply t equal to 0, you will get 1 minus q whole square into p plus 2pq into 1 minus p. I replaced all e power t values with 1 because e power 0 is equal to 1. I have t equal to 0 here. Next step. Here 1 minus q indicates that is p. So this will be p square into p which is nothing but p cube. Similarly, wherever you have 1 minus q, replace it with p. So 2pq into p which means it will be 2p into pq that is p square q. 2p square q divided by p power 4. When I take p square common outside here, actually uh, I am simplifying this step. p cube plus 2p square q divided by p power 4. I am taking a p square value common in the numerator. So here 2p plus 2q divided by p power 4. You can cancel with the denominator, it will be p square. So I got p plus 2q divided by p square. This 2q will be replaced with q plus q. This step is very important. Why we are writing it as p plus q? I mean q plus q. We know that p plus q value is 1. So your answer will be 1 plus q divided by p square. This is the second moment which is e of x square. What is the formula for variance of x? e of x square minus e of x whole square that is 1 plus q divided by p square minus 1 by p square when you take lcm you will get q divided by p square which is variance of geometric distribution so we completed all discrete distributions mg of mean and variance that is binomial poisson and geometric distribution in the next video, we continue with continuous distributions. Thank you.